Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome to the Meat Church Lake Compound. So Texans love queso. And my fellow Texan buddy, Doug Scheiding, developed a smoked queso recipe that we thought we'd put together in a video and show you. Cue the intro. This recipe is super straightforward, really easy to make. We're gonna go with a block of Velveeta cheese. We've got eight ounces of smoked Gouda. Uh, we fried up some hot breakfast sausage here in a Griswold skillet. We've got a can of cream of mushroom soup, trust me, or trust Doug. A couple cans of Rotel, so I'm going with a Chipotle and the fire roasted, and we're gonna season it with a bunch of holy cow. We're gonna put this in a Dutch oven. This is a Dutch oven we compete at the Houston Rodeo with, see the tag? And we're gonna put it in the smoker for 45 minutes, stirring it a few times. It's literally that simple. We have made this three times this week. So we decided today, let's just make a video on it. We're gonna throw everything in. I'm gonna put the cheeses in. Put the soup in. in all this sausage. We drained all that sausage to get all the grease out of it. Doug calls for four tablespoons of a coffee rub. We're gonna use our Meat Church Holy Cow. He goes with four tablespoons. So I'm just gonna kind of shake in until I feel like it's good. We're gonna mix it up. This doesn't have to be perfect. You know, we're just trying to incorporate the mix here as best we can, because we're gonna put it on the smoker uh, and we're gonna mix it several times throughout the cook. Let's check in on this queso. It's looking good, it's bubbling. Looks like it's all melted really good. All the cheeses are melted. So I'm gonna stir it, you know, three or four times during the cook. I'm gonna call this good. You're not looking for any sort of internal temp. You know, you're just melting all this and want it all to come together, get some nice smoke. We're done. Okay guys, so after 45 minutes in the smoker, this queso's ready to eat. We've let it cool off just a little bit. We've garnished it with some fresh diced tomatoes, a little bit of cilantro. I know Doug likes to actually mix cilantro in it. Got our tortilla chips, but I'm going pro level move, which is Bucky's barbecue pork rinds. Works really good, especially if you're on keto. Soaks up all the cheese. Now that's a Texas dish right there. Dang, that's good. That's why we have now made this four times this week. If you guys like this, please subscribe to our channel. We're making new cooking videos every week, trying to get you outside cooking something. Thanks, y'all.